a learning check for you here because this stuff is tricky and important. I want you to draw a sketch of a section of the capillary. This part you don't have to turn in, but do it for your notes. Um, labeling these components. Let's see, am I missing? And then you're going to be given this information, determine whether filtration or reabsorption will occur, show your work. Um, is this section located where in the, the circulation, venous arterial end of the capillary bed? And then what would happen to NFP if serum albumin levels were lower than normal? Okay, I will walk through this one, um, some of it at least, at least the, the basic math. Here's my sketch of the lumen, and here's the numbers I had. So forces out were 15 plus one. Forces in are 20 plus zero. This is going to give me a net filtration pressure of 16 minus 20 minus four. Note it's always forces out minus forces in, so you're gonna get a negative number sometimes. And that's how you know reabsorption occurs and this is the venous end. Nice, huh? If you altered serum albumin, what would that change? You would be decreasing, where do I have it up here? Capillary osmotic pressure if you decrease albumin. So let's say maybe now that's um, 16 instead of 20. What's that going to do? If it's 16 minus 16, it's zero. We're not going to have reabsorption occur where we need to. We're decreasing the osmotic pressure drive in the capillary by not having enough serum albumin in there. And this is a, a problem. Um, this last slide I'll show you is going to start touching upon that. So what is happening here is you've got filtration and reabsorption. In reality, slightly more fluid is lost, 24 liters a day, than is reabsorbed. So in the example before, if you didn't have enough serum albumin, this number would be even lower, and that would be a problem. What happens to this extra fluid? It goes to the lymphatic system um, to return to circulation. So if you had a deficit in serum albumin, maybe the lymphatic could pick that up at least a little bit, but um, you could have um, increased osmotic pressure in the fluid due to, actually, I'm sorry, that's not, not the right one. If you had um, a blockage of, of drainage, for example, you would have problems then. So various causes that can result in dysfunction of the system are increased hydrostatic pressure of capillaries, so high blood pressure, high blood volume, um, increased interstitial fluid of the, increased osmotic pressure of the interstitial fluid that can prevent this from happening how it's supposed to. So inflammation can cause proteins to build up here. You're then not gonna have the correct pulls um, due to osmotic pressure. If you have too much protein here, Decreased capillary osmotic pressure. That's the one we just looked at. So um, hyper, hypoproteinemia, low serum albumin could decrease capillary osmotic pressure and um, prevent the proper reabsorption. And increased filtration at the other end, right? Um, another one is then if you have some blockage of the lymph system, lymph, lymphatic system, that could also cause edema, swelling of the tissue if you don't have the lymphatic system draining this out because there's constant, in all the capillary beds, there's more fluid going from the capillaries than there is back into the capillaries. Um, we'll use these principles again when we get to the kidney in terms of filtration and reabsorption. I also will have a short lecture on the lymphatic system to connect this to, to that system. So 
this learning outcome is this brief one here. Um, explain how changes in net filtration pressure can result in edema. So that is the swelling. Basically, you have too much filtration, not enough reabsorption, and how the functional lymphatic system normally prevents that. This term I did not use. That's basically the idea that that, that filtration and reabsorption, what that's doing is called microcirculation because it's like a little tiny um, circuit. Not that term itself is not that important to me, but as long as you understand this, and so for some people that can be helpful to see it as kind of like a, a, a circuit, it's actually important for like I mean, keeping the, the tissues um, surrounded by fresh fluids. It's constantly refreshed as the blood, new blood comes in from the heart.